Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission for the weekend of November 1st through 3rd. We're going to go ahead and get this mission done. We're already in the, um, well, the Anomaly. And as you can see, I've got my new ship. Yes, I uh, cringed and named it the Century Hawk instead of the Millennium Falcon. So, yeah, there you go. The Century Hawk. Let's see what our mission is for this weekend. Of course, we are all speed running, so this is kind of a break from things. Uh, let's see. Eliminate hazardous flora. I wonder if it'll stay the same. And we're going to get salvage frigate modules, as well as the 1800 Quicksilver, and about almost a half a million credits out of this. Or as we like to say, space bucks. Let's go ahead and start our mission, get started, and go kill us some plants. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, there's only a few days left. This The expedition ends either Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, depending upon your time zone. So if you haven't done it yet, get it done. Plenty of guides out there. I haven't done one yet myself because, I have, frankly, I don't have the time to make one when you only have a two-week uh, uh, run-through of an expedition. So uh, when we do the reduxes, which are supposed to start on November 7th, um, those are two weeks long, usually 10 days or so, give or take, and I have plenty of guides for every one of those, as well as the speed run, speed runs that you've seen me do. All right, so here's the system that we're ending up in. It's going to take me to a planet in a moment. Yes. Yeah, I know. Where are we going? Thank you. All right. Except we're going down here. Is it this planet or there's, is there one behind it? I think it's this planet. But it's taking me to the other side for some reason. I guess it wants me to go over here instead. Oh, but you know what it is about these uh, particular missions? When you're killing plants, you have to get to a gravestone marker first. So I suggest stay in this mode and look at your radar up above. Actually, you don't have to be in that mode. Just look at your radar up above and look for that little golden um, pyramid-like icon, like the No Man's Sky icon and just see if you see anything. You might have to go back and forth. You might have to get stuck like I just did. And circle around a little bit. Sometimes you might get lucky and find it without having to exit the ship and look around for hours. Looks like we're going to have to get out anyway. All right, let's land right here. Tells me that the landing area is not clear. Of course it is. Still landing area not clear. We're doing this again, apparently. Um, I can't think of a landing area that's any clearer than this. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're out, finally. Now, this looks like a hot planet. There it is. This looks like a hot planet here. Electric rain. And it's a redacted planet, too. So make sure you have the right protection for a planet like this. We have to hit the grave first. And with these hot storms, unlike in the expedition, your jetpack is a little bit more uh, efficient, if you will. So it was quite a bit further away than I expected. Okay, here's our grave. Let's bring the ship in. Of course, there's no flat spots here, is there? It can't land anywhere, apparently. Apparently, this uh, planet is unable to have ships on it, apparently, for some reason. All right. That may be a bug. We may have to report that. Let's go ahead and do the grave. Zzz, snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns. This is completely unaware. We reduced the numbers, but zzz, the, traven, the fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. And that's all you get from that. And hey, and every now and then, if you get into these planets, I have no idea what I just did. There we go. You can find these storm crystals that will pop up. Of course, the danger is lightning so please be careful but every time a lightning strike occurs a storm crystal usually appears so it's a cool move to get extra storm crystals from a planet that you don't normally 
find storm crystals on. All right, so I'm going to switch over to my runic lens. I think that'll work just fine for these guys. It should eliminate them in seconds. Now, this is one way to do it. You can just search through your visor, and you can find some that are floating around here and get them all. I have to get 11 of them. It's three. Another one's in range. It looks like they have a lot of them on this planet, so this might be good to stay above ground. If you want to go below ground, look for anything that normally inhabits the uh, underground, like usually some sort of... Uh, I don't even see any here right now. So maybe there are no caves on this planet? You do run across planets like that, but it's very, very rare. I've never run across one that didn't have any caves. Looks like the storm is over, or, yep, yeah, the storm is over. Look at that. Short-lived. Plenty on the surface of this planet. But again, I just want to look down... Yeah, like that. See how it says humming sack? That means you're in an underground tunnel. Let's go ahead and just run over there real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you're doing this particular one, you can go for these above surface ones, and they, they are plentiful. They are plentiful. You're going to get a lot of them real quick here. Um, aim for a cave. Uh, looks like I have... There it is. There's a cave down there. I'm going to go ahead and blast through and get to the cave. Let me see how far away we are. Right there. Okay. Should have the cave entrance right there. There it is. All right, so if you can find yourself a cave, the benefit is is that you have these. You have your hazardous floor. I just took out three real quick, just like that. So, and there's the opening. <laughs> that was the opening I was looking for. And if it's a deep enough cave, you'll find plenty more in the cave. But this happens to be a short cave, so we're not finding them here. But that's a second way in which you could find hazardous floor on any planet. Even if it's a planet that looks like it's devoid of anything on the surface, you can find them a lot quicker that way. So we've got a plant right here. I only need one more, so... Yep, there it is, right there. Done. That should be it. And our ship is, as always, lost to me. I go this way, maybe I can find it easier. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I can't see it right now. And of course, I can't pull it in. There's our grave. There's our ship right there. Let me mark it just in case. I'm going to try to pull it in one more time. I don't know why it can't land anywhere. So that might be a bug. I think I might have to... Oh, wait, wait. It landed. Okay, good. I don't know why I couldn't land anywhere. That is a pretty cool looking ship though, huh? Nice. All right, so we are done with this mission and that's all we have to do. All we have to do is return to the Nexus and turn in our bounty, if you will. This is a pretty nice little ship if you can get it from the expedition. It really is. The expedition can be hard, but don't be afraid if your character does get, uh, you know, get taken out once in a while. It's it's okay. You're okay. As you can see, the ship with some upgrades I've added in. Obviously, I've added some stuff in here. Um, getting some really decent hyperdrive range, uh, reminiscent of an explorer class. Good maneuverability. Pretty decent shield strength, and the damage output from these is not bad. Not bad at all, with some uh, some modifications, obviously. So, all right. So let me go ahead and turn in our mission here. And reward given. So we have our Quicksilver. We have our salvaged frigate module. As well as the credits. So let's see where we are with the creating of items. It looks like our second tier is now open, and we're just about getting uh, just about started the third tier, which should, I'm guessing, it'll finish up by Tuesday, in preparation for the next one. So there, you can get some ribbons, some some ribbon fireworks. They're pretty cool. So that should do it. And this is the terminal where you can go do your expedition. If you've already done it from your regular save, you can come in here and recreate multi-tools and recreate your starship if you have room for extra starships. Okay, and that should do it for us here, folks. Let me head back over here. So this, as of the recording of this message, this is being done on Friday the 1st. And I will be streaming on Saturday the 2nd at around 4.30, 4, 4.30, give or take. Uh, so 
really wish you'd all stop by. We're going to give that run one more shot, that speed run, and see if we can challenge Jason and Delta. Jason at one uh, is at 119 right now, Delta at 122. Fantastic runs from both of them. I'm currently sitting at 129, but I have a secret. I think I can get this down into the low teens. Let me see what we can do. But stop in and watch the fun. We'll see you there. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you again next time, folks. Take care.